Good morning, everybody, and welcome to another daily dump. Now, yesterday's videos, I talked about me and my wife arguing about things. And when we argue, it's always in a sort of playful way. We don't fight, shall we say. Um, no objects get thrown. <laughs> But they always end up in pretty cool discussions most of the time. And one of the discussions we had yesterday was all about average speed check cameras on motorways and that. Or variable, sorry, not average, variable speed check cameras on motorways. And how often, or whether you believe, that they suddenly think, hmm, I think we need to generate some more money. And so they change the speed limit for no apparent reason. You're driving along and the speed limit changes from say 70 down to 60, then to 50, then to 40, then all of a sudden it ends. And there's no reason why it changed. You didn't see any build up of traffic. You didn't see any workers in the road, you didn't see an escaped swan or anything. And why did it happen? So you get along the motorway, the average speed check camera's like, not sorry, the variable speed check camera kicks in and starts reducing the speed limit. And as you go through it, you don't see any issues. You're thinking, you know, what's gone on there? Why has that changed? And you know a number of people will have been caught out by those cameras and receive a nice fine. And because it's on a motorway, a lot of people will be caught a lot more than an SP30 sort of thing. You know, intended prosecution letter through their door, shall we say. And I've had one of those. They're not nice to receive. <laughs> But you've all seen the video of that my one, I, you know, I actually deserved it, you know. But I do feel sorry for the people who get them on motorways. Simply because it seems a bit scummy. That they're putting those sort of things. But what gets me is I firmly believe that they are actually doing it sometimes just to generate an income. I know they say, oh, we're doing it for traffic calming measures, you know. You don't see the incidents or the traffic build up, you know, five miles down the road, so we're doing it to space the traffic out sort of thing. But when you look into how much money these cameras are now making, we're not talking small amounts of money, we're talking millions of pounds. Um, you know, there's something wrong there. They're, you know, they, people who operate these things say, oh, we don't do it as a profit-making thing. It's like, if that's not making a profit, <laughs> I don't know what isn't. <laughs> I mean, if you're not making a profit from millions of pounds, um, by fleecy motorists. Now, whenever I ever mention speed cameras in vlogs, and that, people always get a bit angry about them. <laughs> like I say, I know I've talked about it before. Can I get down there? I don't think I can. And rightly so, I believe, you know. Now there's other people saying, well, oh, if you don't speed, you uh, you won't get a speeding ticket. I don't know a single driver who doesn't speed. And I'm not condoning speeding in any way, shape or form. What I mean is where they stick these cameras always seem to be the places like at the bottom of hills, and cars are naturally going a little bit faster. On slip roads where you've just come from, say, a 70 mile hour road that ends joining into a 50 or something. You're all right, matey, I'm not going to run you over. So yeah, what do you think? Do you think average speed can... Not average, I keep saying average, don't I? 
variable speed check cameras are there as a money making thing. Because I firmly believe they are. What if I go stronger? What if I get higher? What if I start doing things I know I will regret? I will make my own way. I will not surrender. I will do my best until I get put under. What if I go stronger?